Hello everybody, today's session is about Brugada syndrome. In Brugada syndrome, there is abnormal electrical activity on the heart and it is due to genetic cause, hence it's a genetic disorder. And in the people with Brugada syndrome, there is increase in risk for the sudden cardiac death, which means death from cardiac causes within one hour of onset of symptoms in previously healthy individuals. Most individuals of Brugada syndrome have no identifiable genetic cause, but some individuals can have mutation in the gene SCN5A. And this mutation can be inherited in autosomal dominant pattern, which means a single mutation is enough to get Brugada syndrome. Some medications like antiarrhythmic drugs can block the sodium channels and can cause Brugada syndrome. In the cardiac muscles of our heart, we have cardiac sodium channels. These sodium channels will control the excitability of the heart or they control the electrical activity of the heart. And these sodium channels are encoded by the gene SCN5A. Now we know that in Brugada syndrome, there is mutation of the SCN5A gene. So when this gene is mutated, then there is loss of function of the cardiac sodium channels. So these cardiac sodium channels, they cannot function. And if they cannot function, then there will be reduced excitability of the heart or the electrical activity of the heart will be normal, which can lead to ventricular arrhythmia and ultimately sudden cardiac death. But not all the individuals with Brugada syndrome die. Some survive the first episode of the arrhythmia. And these patients might present with palpitations, fatigue and shortness of breath. And in these high risk individuals, they can have implantable cardiovascular defibrillator, which will control the rhythm of the heart whenever they have an episode of ventricular fibrillation. Now, on the ECG findings of the Brugada syndrome, there will be ST elevation on the lead V1, V2 and V3 with appearance of right bundle branch block. Brugada syndrome can be diagnosed by ECG findings or genetic testing of family members of the individual who have recently died from Brugada syndrome. Thank you.